Hello, welcome to jasonnewland.com. My name is Jason Newland. Hello. Um, so, this is the second of my short anxiety reduction sessions, recordings. And the idea of this is that, and I'm hoping to do them quite regularly, possibly every day, um, but I'm not going to predict whether I will do that or not. So the idea of these is every day or whenever I do them, I offer you a suggestion of something that you can do possibly physically or mentally uh, in order to reduce your anxiety ultimately and uh, before you start this only listen to this or watch the video and you can safely close your eyes um, please subscribe and just to let you know my background I have had extreme anxiety in the past and I still uh, I still deal with it in the present as well at times um, more social for me and I've got no idea what that sound was The thing, the thing just buzzed. I do apologise for that. I get fed up with the, the buzziness. I've got it. Uh. Anyway, this is a practical session, so I'm going to let that buzz go. But I'm not pleased with it because I never have a buzz. Usually. Never have a buzz. That's a weird sentence, isn't it? Okay. So, today's session, I'm going to call this Challenge Anxiety to Do Its Worst, which may seem like a, a strange idea based on... Um, it's kind of the opposite that you want to do, isn't it? It's the opposite thing to what you want. The last thing you want is for the anxiety to get worse. That's obvious. I understand that a million percent. But you know what? Sometimes it gets to the point where you may need to say, I had enough of this. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to look at this from a, a, a different angle to maybe what you've looked at it before, which means I'll probably end up talking for about an hour, but I'm not going to. I'm going to make this very, very short, but I will perhaps do a session that will expand upon this. It's just come to my mind. If you think of your anxiety as a bully... Yeah, someone that is abusing you emotionally and verbally and physically in a sense of anxiety phys physically is uh, can be debilitating uh, which uh, maybe a lot of people that haven't experienced anxiety or panic attacks don't realise it's not just about how you emotionally feel it's way more than that if it was then it'd be just be a lot easier to deal with. You'll be able to take tablets and it would be fine. But that's not the case in my experience. So think of anxiety as, and this might be a bit of a negative way to look at it, but I'll explain the reason behind it. If you've got a bully that's following you around, a person that's following you around, whispering crap in your ear, whispering that you're this and you're that and uh, causing your response is one of 
terror and fear, which is what anxiety is. You know, absolute terror at times. The fear that, you know, you fear that you're going to die. The fear, and it's very real, that fear. The fact is you're not going to die, but it's very real, the fear at the time. And because it is so extreme, perhaps extreme thing, an extreme action is required. So if we class anxiety as a bully following you around, prodding you, poking you, because you know, a bully doesn't have to be someone that is like horrible to you, just even, you know, that's saying horrible stuff or hurting you physically. If someone walked around and they kept prodding you, you know, not hurting you, but just pushing, pushing the finger into your, into your shoulder or, um, gently tapping the side of your face or just standing in front of you so you had to walk around them. If someone kept doing that, it would be a, a mental torment. It would be absolutely horrendous. So that, that would be abuse. Okay? So the anxiety is a bully that is abusing you. So what do we do with bullies? We stand up to them. It's the only way around a bully. You get help. Yeah, obviously if you're, if you're not able to physically stand up to them, you get help from somebody else that can do that for you. Or you get help from, if you're a child, you get help from an adult, you get help from a teacher. You know, this isn't about bullying, this recording. This is about anxiety, but we're calling anxiety a bully because it is, and it's abusing you. So what do we do to bullies? We stand up to bullies, stand up to the anxiety. And I remember when I was a kid, I had never been bullied pretty much my whole school life wasn't bullied, just didn't happen. I wasn't really, for whatever reasons. But then when I was in the, f the, the last year at school, I think, or the, yeah, one of my friends turned on me and started to try to bully me. Tried to, and um, by telling other people that he was gonna beat me up, okay? So I didn't know what to do because it was he was a friend as far as I was concerned. So I didn't want to hurt him. And I was so confused. So I spoke to my brother. I went and asked for help. I was a child. I went and asked for help from an adult. So my brother was older than me. And my brother said, confront him. Stand up to him. Do it in front of people. You know, call him out. So that's what I did. The next day, I walked up to him at assembly there was the entire school was pretty much there and I walked up to him in front of everybody that because we everyone was like in sections in the in the hall and I just stood up to him and just said and called him out basically said so I hear you want to do this uh, so go on then do it you know so I, I did I didn't didn't touch him I just stood there and uh, looked at him and I faced him straight on. And I did it with an audience. I did it so that people could see, so that it would finally be done. You know, there was no, you know, it's, I wanted everything to be honest and open, but just what, what are you gonna do? Do your worst, do, do what you're gonna do. And he backed down like bullies do, he was a coward. And he backed down because he didn't know what to do in that situation. 
I could have gone further and I could have bullied the bully, but I didn't. I left it there, but I confronted it. And that anxiety, and I'd had a lot of anxiety over that because I kept hearing things and kept the fact that he was going to attack me. And I was so concerned about what to do because I'd never been in that situation before. And the anxiety left me. Any kind of worry or concern about what might happen left. Do this with the anxiety. Challenge it. When you had that feeling, say to it, actually in your mind, say, go on then. Do your worst. Go on. What are you waiting for? Do it. What can you do to me? Apart from the fact that you are part of me. You're me. You're not separate. The anxiety is not separate to you. The anxiety is you. You wouldn't walk around with one dirty hand. You know, you've got one clean hand and another dirty hand that's completely filthy, haven't washed it for months. Why haven't you washed it? Well, it doesn't want to be washed. Like it's got its own mind, it's got its own, con- it's controlling you, it's bullying you into not washing it. No, that, that hand is part of you. You're, you're the boss of that hand. So you'd wash it. You wouldn't let it just be dirty. Especially if you was a chef. That would be disgusting. Challenge the anxiety to do its worst. Challenge it. So come on then. Come on. Do your worst. What are you going to do? Come on. Give it to me. Show me what you got. You know what? And some people might listen to this and say, yeah, but you're not showing any respect for the anxiety. You think the anxiety is worth respecting? Really? Really? You might say, oh, you're not respecting how I'm feeling. If I wasn't, if I didn't care about how you felt, I wouldn't be putting effort into making this recording. There's millions of other things I could be doing with my life. It's because I respect and understand the absolute torture of being bullied by anxiety. that I'm making this recording and helping you to move on and change your life for you, not for me, not for anyone else, but for you. Challenge that anxiety to do its worst. What's he going to do? Pull a gun out and shoot you. If it does that, then you no longer that's it so what because realistically you know it can't do that because it's a feeling we're going to challenge it to a punch up and it's going was it going to start punching you no of course it's not obviously it's a feeling it's a bullying feeling challenge the anxiety to do its worst and you see what happens you see what happens you see how things change you get to see reality then you 
get to see what real, what real is. That's real. It's a bully. It can't hurt you any longer. When you face up to it, when you stand up to it, and you challenge anxiety to do its worst. And you say no more, no more, no. And I'll leave you with that lovely morning message. Number two in my short anxiety reductions. You take care. See you next time. Let me know how you get on. Bye.